Yo, what's going on everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the super mini YouTube. And this is my fifth episode into my NBA 2K14 tutorial series. Now this will be going over post moves. A lot of people don't use post offense in NBA 2K13. And I haven't seen anything in NBA 2K14, whether it be crew, blacktop, online, my team, whatever. So I'm going to give you guys the down low on these post moves. And trust me, they actually work. A lot of people don't use them. But man, I was using them a lot with my scoring small forward last year, and I had a ball. So let's hop right into it, y'all. All right, you guys. The post game is very different from last year. But the easiest move is to enter the post. It's basically protect around the top of the key. So all you do is press protect. You go into a nice little post move. Now, the next thing is facing up. If you have a defender and you want to face up, all you got to do is press Y. And you'll face up. Now you can't face up. Well, you well you can, but it doesn't seem like it's facing up when you're dribbling. But uh, you know it's pretty cool. Now what you want to do is when you want to do a drive fake, you tap the right stick towards the key. All right, that's all you do. You just game that little uh, and then you know it it'll be either his decision if he wants to drive to the lane or if he just wants to stay with you. Now spin fake. Oh man, this is crazy. All you got to do is tap the right stick towards the ball hand. All right? Up. Uh, I guess I guess they don't want they don't want me to do it. But <laughs> all you do is do that and then he'll do like a little fake spin. It's pretty good because it gets people off their feet, but uh my favorite thing is always the aggressive back down. You know what I'm saying? If you want to put somebody in the paint, you got to do the aggressive back down. Now to drive to the key, you want to tap RT while you hold the left stick towards the key, all right? So, as you go in, you just drive. Now, Carmelo Anthony probably wouldn't have let me into the lane that easy if it was a real game, but let's talk about driving baseline. Now, you want to hold the left stick towards the baseline and tap the right stick. Now, that move is very, very overpowered. And when I mean very overpowered, I mean super duper duper overpowered. Because a lot of people use that to their advantage. They just go like that and go right past the defender. Easy bucket every time. Now, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the hook drive. Uh, it's pretty okay, but it, it works just hand in hand with how the half spin does. You want to rotate the right stick half circle towards the key. So, you just want to, ah, did it wrong, but I went up under. Uh, all right. You guys ready? See that? You got to hook. For some reason, you have to hook the analog out before you do your half spin. I, it's, it it, it kind of sucks, but at the same time, you kind of think, like, when you bring it out that far, you might want to do it anyway because it, it feels easy. But I'm not going to uh, flick it out. I'm going to just rotate it real quick, see if he does it. All right, he did it even though I didn't flick it out far. So uh, next thing. Okay, I don't want to go in the off ball. I'm going to go back to post moves. Thank you. All right, quick spin. Now, you want to rotate this half circle towards the baseline. That was the last move I did. All right, you can go baseline and you can decide to go up under the D for the layup. You're probably going to get a foul call most of the time, and it works perfectly. So, let's see. Post hop. Man, all you want to do is hold the left stick away from the left or right of the basket and tap X. Now, all you have to do is this. See that? Automatic hop. Real easy. Real bread and butter. That was like one of my favorite moves last year. They changed it this year, but it's all good. I ain't tripping. Now, to do a post drop step, you want to hold the left stick towards the key and tap X. All right? He's going to hop step. He's going to get into the lane, and the defender's probably going to foul him half the time. Post hook shot. <laughs> pretty easy just hold the right stick towards the rim and let it go you know what I'm saying ain't nothing too hard about that now the next thing I want to talk to you guys is about the post fade shot now the post fade shot it's easy because you can go away from left or right it can be inside look I'm gonna do it inside you know what I'm saying you you can get some success but let me show you outside outside is probably the easiest way to do it come on 2k why are you doing this to me all right let me show y'all one time. Now, away from the court, it works so much better because you actually create that space over your shoulder. When you when you go inside, you kind of have the ball exposed, and blocks will happen in NBA 2K14. Now, post shimmy shot, kind of mad about this because you can't give them a double shimmy, but it's all good. 
you hold RT, see what I'm holding, and then you move the right stick away or left or right from the basket, and then just release the shot when you're done. All right, you just you it's an automatic shimmy. You don't shimmy and then shoot. You just automatically shimmy. So I'm gonna show you guys this this one last time before I get up out of here, and I'm gonna show you going the other way. All right, see that he didn't shimmy going inside. You want to do it outside, and then he'll shimmy automatically. All right. This is IKC signing out. Hopefully this post tutorial is good enough for you guys. Um, what you want to do is definitely read the advanced controls because doing these post moves, they may seem like they're easy, but once you get in the paint and you try them out and you're about to get double team, you're going to get very frustrated. Easy. But this is IKC signing out. I'm going to highlight you guys in the next video. Peace. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.